It's hard to imagine living with a disease not always acknowledged by doctors, but it happens all the time. Over 2 million Americans have chronic fatigue syndrome, also known as ME slash CFS. I have never felt like I have had a refreshing night of sleep. I have felt tired every single day for the past 15 years. Robbie Robbie diet has ME CFS, a disease making patients feel endlessly tired. Yes, I'll finish this later. Many of them have cognitive problems and lose the ability to read. I went, was in grad school for um, mental health counseling. A year ago, I could not read one sentence to another, so I had to drop out in the middle of the semester. Before the disease struck her, Robbie used to be a nutrition consultant and a yoga trainer. My whole life purpose was to help people get stronger bodies and stronger minds. Um, and this part is sad because that part of my life is completely gone right now. In Massachusetts, there are estimated 28,000 patients like Robbie, but few doctors have even heard about the disease or are willing to help. Maybe 30? in the entire state of Massachusetts. A year ago, Robbie's parents found MassCFIT online. The nonprofit group has been advocating for the patients for more than 30 years. We have collected information over the years from patients on doctors who have helped them, or at least have not told them that they're crazy, they should go see a psychiatrist and join a gym. Recently, they held a screening of Unrest, a documentary about to change the landscape. Former Harvard student Jennifer Bria documented her disease in this award-winning film. It would be a good movie even if I didn't particularly care about this topic. 75 healthcare professionals went to the screening. Among them, there are researchers from Massachusetts General Hospital. There, there's people that I don't know that I've never met who, after the fact, um, have emailed me and said, um, you know, I'm interested in this problems, uh, uh, in this question, are there, is there research that uses, you know, somebody wrote to me and asked about the uh, fMRI research. So far, Dr. Van Elzacker has taken scans from 10 patients, trying to find certain biomarkers in their brain stems. It's an ideal measurement to tell sick people from healthy ones. So there's obviously something going on with metabolism. There's obviously something going on uh, with the immune system, and there's obviously something going on neurologically. But he said there might not be a magical bullet to cure the disease. So I think part of the problem is going to be if they don't come up with something to help these patients. As we get older, we're going to need help, so who's going to take care of our children? She can't go grocery shopping. She doesn't go to the mall, she doesn't drive, and um, so if my husband and I want to take a vacation, we have to make sure that there are people around that can help her do that. Messi Fitz is already working on the legislative process. We would like to modify the right to try law um, to say if you have a disease with no cure and no FDA approved treatment, you should be able to try another treatment that there is at least anecdotal evidence that it may help you. There's the car that I don't drive anymore, but I'm hoping, I'm hanging on to the hope that I'll be able to drive it hopefully by next spring, but we're gonna put it away for the winter. <laughs> Dr. Van Elzacker said he sees a shift happening but wheels are just not turning fast enough. Advocacy organizations like Mass Seafit still need more money and more people to raise awareness among the Congress, among healthcare professionals, and among the public. From BU News Service, I am Su Zhong Chen. The film Unrest is being screened around the world and can also be seen online. To learn more, please visit unrest.film.